Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm like feeling inspired because we went to Trader Joe's. Well, my boyfriend went to Trader Joe's. I gave him a list because he was off work. Um, but I'm feeling inspired to film a fridge tour for you guys. So we're gonna do this vlog style since I'm the only one home. But I'm gonna show you what's in my fridge, and it's all vegan except for two things, which I'll point out that are my boyfriend's because he's not vegan, but he eats vegan like 90% of the time. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we'll just start at the top. Um, obviously right away there's one of the non-vegan things which is the eggs he has these just to make like breakfast burritos and stuff um this is some leftover pizza last night from this place near us called veggie crust which is all meatless has vegan options all that um and on this shelf we obviously have a fruit basket we've got roma tomatoes which i know aren't really a fruit kiwis we got nectarines we have a watermelon back there and some blueberries here that are super fresh and yummy this time of year. On this side we have all of our leftovers. We have two containers of hummus. I made a lot of like garden veggie hummus and I kind of needed two containers. Um, here are those veggies. We have leftover veggies from grilling this weekend. Um, behind these we have some corn on the cob also left over. And the other non-vegan thing, which I won't show you too close, which is some grilled chicken. Um, on this bottom shelf here, we have drinks. So we have a 12-pack of Coke Zero, which is my personal favorite. And then we also have seltzer from Trader Joe's. And then our two lunches. So I have, like, salads packed in here with some snacks. Um, and then speaking of salads, this is our greens drawer. So we have... The Sorrento blend from Trader Joe's. We actually have two bags of that. Um, oh my goodness, there's so much. We have romaine hearts here, kale, and then underneath here is some um, broccoli. And usually we get it like frozen, but sometimes it's easier when it's fresh. Although I hate all the plastic packaging. So, yeah, Trader Joe's, can you, like, do less of that? Broccoli doesn't really need to be in a plastic bag. Um, okay, and then in this side, we have some cherry tomatoes for salads. Some cucumber, which I already cut into for the salad. This bag has two sweet potatoes. And these bags are compostable, so I try and take them to work where we have a compost. Instead of throwing them out, or we, like, reuse them. And also in here we have two bell peppers, red ones are what we prefer. And then I'll go to the door, um, we have some more seltzers, have some beer, this is whatever one my boyfriend picked up, and some energy drink that he wanted to try. I can't get my fridge to stay, I use my knee. We have some sriracha, two things of soy sauce because we each accidentally bought one and a bottle of wine that I brought home from Lebanon. We still haven't broken into. Then on this shelf, we just have baking soda to keep everything fresh. We have some of Trader Joe's Cornichon pickles. I'm obsessed. We have some strawberry rhubarb jam. And then up here are two of my favorite things. Well, my favorite brand, Barrett's Garden, which is a vegan cheese brand, it's local to Rhode Island and Mass. This is their focata, which we use like on avocado toast or just like for crackers. And this is their Parmesan, which we use for like everything, um, pasta, but then also just like tacos or whatever we want. It tastes good on everything. Then this, uh, my boyfriend calls this our weird root drawer because we have onions, garlic, and ginger. We also have avocados in here and then on this shelf we have some more hot sauce this is the Cholula I don't know this is more his thing and then we have some salsa the Tostitos I don't know why we got that brand probably it was the cheapest so that is the fridge and then I will also show you the freezer we have ice that we're making and then I'm just like storing it in there but we also have the so delicious Oh, the lighting is not good there. So delicious, dairy-free, salted caramel. This is like my new favorite thing. They also have a few other flavors, but that's all our store had. We have 
two boxes of the Dr. Prager's California burgers. We actually ate those for dinner tonight, so that's why it's open. And then in the next thing here, more dessert because obviously I need so much. Um, we have the Outshine fruit bars, the lime ones. There are only two left though. So I bought the Solero ones to try. They also have lime and cherry. I don't like them as much, but they're still pretty good. And here we have frozen bananas, which I'm saving for smoothies. Oh, my battery's low. We have some edamame, Ooh. which I also opened already for the salads. Just the Trader Joe's shelled kind. More from Trader Joe's. We have some of their vegetable gyoza. Oops. Our vegetable gyoza, which you've seen in my hauls. We have some green peas. So, just keep that in the bin so they don't all spill. And then we also have a package of Brussels sprouts. And then this is actually some flatbreads that my friend brought me from Morocco. Her family makes them and I love them, so she was so sweet and brought them to me. Uh, put the bananas back there to show you. Then on this side we have cauliflower rice from Trader Joe's. We have two bags. We have frozen strawberries that I'm going to use for a smoothie. Frozen broccoli, like I said, we buy this a lot. We have some hash browns from Trader Joe's, just good to have around for breakfast burritos or something. I don't know, just like one of those things you keep in the freezer. I like the frozen broccoli. Oh, it's a vegan thing. And then in here, it's hard to tell, but it's like a frozen lentil lentil dish. It's